Hello everyone on YouTube, welcome. In this video I want to show you how to fix recording latency issues in Cubase. You can also know this type of problem by the name of record shifting. And you can see right now on my screen, this click track is my audio source that I use to record from a line output on my audio interface and back in this track from a line input of my audio interface. And as you can see, it is shifted in front of the original sound, which is physically impossible. And so if you have a musician playing guitar on this click track, it will end up that you will think he's not tight, but in real life, he was perfectly tight. It's just that Cubase is now shifting your audio events in front of the actual time that it was recorded, okay? So let me record this again and show you that I'm not lying or doing some visual setup to get you into this. So let's press record. All right, so you can see now it's shifted again. The way to fix this is to calculate the distance between the two events. So make a big zoom in and take your range tool, select the front of the recorded track with the front of the original sound source. And now if you have your info line selected here, okay, you get it here. You now know that your range selection length is dot 34. All right. So take this number, go to your studio tab, then studio setup. And you can see record shift here. What it does, according to Steinberg, is it allows you to shift the recordings by the specified value. All right. So you take your number here and what you will do is multiply by a thousand times because I think it's in milliseconds or samples. I'm not sure. So because our recorded track comes before the sound source, we need to go in the minus timings. So let's do minus 34 times a thousand, three thousand and four hundred. Let's apply this and click OK. And we'll record again to see if it works. Okay, so it seems to be better. Is it perfect? Not yet. Okay, so we can see you have still some shifting. So I think 34 was too much. So let's just go back and try um, 32 times a thousand and click apply. And now record again. Let's zoom in. I think we have it. All right, it's, it's perfect. So you have it. If you ever had some recording latency issues like this, you can record a sound source with a lot of transients. So a click track is really the most uh, perfect sound source for this. You need to send it from your audio interface's output to another of your audio interface input and record it like this. All right, you just record it. So you send it to your line in and you record that line in. So this way you will know if your Cubase is doing some record shifting. And with your range selection tool, as we have seen, 
you will be able to calculate the approximate value that you will then multiply by a thousand and put in the record shift box here. Okay? So if your audio was later, so if your recorded tracks are like, let's say, here, well, the number will be positive. So it would, it would be like plus 3200. And now it would shift it back. In my case, the audio was coming before the sound source. And so I needed to go in the negative like this. And it fixed my problem. So this is it, guys. You now know how to fix latency issues in Cubase. And it will save your life like it did for me. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment. And if you like it, please let me know. It really helps me to be motivated making more free content on YouTube for music production advice, tips and tricks on Cubase. My name is Alex for DRox Records. I wish you an excellent day. Talk to you later. Bye.